Hello friend, I'm Sarah from Ensign Insights and today I'm going to talk about faux calligraphy or folligraphy. This is the best way to learn hand lettering and in this video I want to show you how to do faux calligraphy with brush pens to help you experiment with your lettering style. This is a really simple way to add something different to your hand lettering that anyone can do and it definitely makes your lettering stand out. First of all, if you are new to faux calligraphy, I broke down the basics in a different video, The Secret to Fake Calligraphy. I will link to that below. But basically, you letter your word with a regular pen and then you thicken the downstrokes. So you go through and you find wherever your pen went down and you add a thickness to it. This helps right from the beginning to start realizing where are the thick downstrokes and where are the thin upstrokes. I also have folligraphy worksheets. If you think you need a little bit of extra practice, I will link to those below. So now going in with the brush pen, you're going to use the brush pen like you normally would at first with the thick downstroke, giving your pen that pressure. And then to the side, you will just draw a thin line, leaving that open space. So it looks like it was a brush pen plus folligraphy. Having that highlight within your downstroke really makes the letters pop. And I like to use, these are my Karen markers. I have a review video about them if you want to learn more. I'm using them on watercolor Canson watercolor paper. I like this pen and paper combination because it helps where you're combining your strokes. You don't have to use this combination. Right here I am using Crayola Super Tips and HP Premium 32 paper, but you can kind of see where my pen is connecting. There's a little dot as the ink didn't blend exactly, and that's only a minor detail. It's not that noticeable. So then I tried it with Tombow Dual Brush Pens because they do tend to blend a little bit easier than the Crayola Super Tips. They don't leave that little dot, but I decided to connect my letters instead of leaving them separate, which meant that they didn't blend perfectly between colors, which I kind of like this look. I don't mind it. If you wanted those colors to blend seamlessly into each other, you probably need to spend some time blending those individual colors or use the watercolor paper with the Karen markers because it blends naturally into each other. Or if you rather have the look where you're not connecting your letters, you could do that too. And another thing you can do with this faux calligraphy with brush pens is making it look like your lettering has some highlights and shadows. So you do the regular thick downstroke, thin to the side. This is a great trick if you want to do watercolor lettering, but you don't have watercolor. You can do it with brush pens. You just go in with a water brush or a wet paintbrush and blend the ink into where it was open. That way it's a little bit lighter right there, leaving that highlight it really gives some depth to your letters and it looks like you did some watercolor. And this one will work best with watercolor paper. It's a more subtle way of adding those highlights. You may be thinking, aren't you not supposed to use brush pens on watercolor paper? And normally the answer is yes. However, with Karen markers, they are more durable, so they don't fray as quickly as other brush pens. They will still fray because they are brush pens and brush pens just fray, but they don't as quickly. So I've found that they are pretty durable to use on watercolor paper. They are really inky. So sometimes I do get some blurring of the edges in my watercolor paper. And that's just because there is so much ink and my paper is student grade. It's just Canson watercolor, the most basic. It works for everything that I do, but if you're finding that your Karen markers is blurring out and spreading a little bit, then you might want to get some higher quality paper that can handle more ink. I have shown you one style of folligraphy with brush pens and I have two more ideas for you. So with this one, 
I am lettering my word just really thinly so I'm not getting very thick down strokes and that's easy to do with a more firm brush pen. And then I'm going to go back in and on all of the down strokes add a gray so it's basically giving it a shadow but it's easy to think about where the shadow is because it's just wherever the down stroke is. Next I am adding color and like I said the Karen markers they blend very naturally on watercolor paper and so all I'm doing is adding the color right next to my down stroke and then they blend into each other giving it a really cool effect. I'm making my initial downstroke pretty chunky on this one so then you just want to make sure that you leave enough space that you can add another stroke to form that extra color. I hope one of these ideas helped you. Which style is your favorite? I would love to hear. I think my favorite is probably just the classic leaving it open. Another thing I love about it is that you can use it to make a certain word or a couple words stand out in a quote and you can use uppercase or lowercase in any different style because it's just like folligraphy where it works with whatever style you are using. So here are a couple of quote ideas. This one says the day before something is a breakthrough. It's a crazy idea. You see me using these colors a lot. These are my favorite of Karen markers. I just love the combination of them together. This video is in no way sponsored by Karen markers. I just love them so much and it turns out I do this style most of the time with these brush pens. Although you can do it with other brush pens, you don't have to have these like I showed you earlier with the Tombow Dual brush pens and the Crayola. You can do them with any brush pens. I just really enjoy this style with Karen markers. This quote is, life is what we letter it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped if you use it. I would love to see it if you share it on Instagram. Tag me at Ensign Insights and let me know below what you think. Do you like this easy faux calligraphy with brush pens? Thank you so much for being here. Subscribe so you don't miss my next video and I will see you next time.